Hey guys, quick disclaimer before we get started. I'm not a financial advisor and this video is just for educational purposes. Please don't take anything you see on this channel as a recommendation to buy or sell any tokens. Crypto market is highly risky and you can lose all your funds. So always do your personal research. Also, some of the links in the description are affiliate links, which means I might earn a small commission at no cost for you. Hey guys, my name is Real Crypto and today I have a really fun and educational video for everyone because we are talking about top 10 10 blockchains ranked by activity and active users. Lately, we've seen hundreds, if not thousands, of new blockchains launch. Most of them just raise funds. And then after a long time of not really developing and failing to gain traction, these projects fail. But today we are talking about a different side. We are talking about, again, about 10 fastest growing blockchains of the year. And the source of the article is Cointelegraph. You can actually find the same article in the description. So we start our list at number one. And we have Solana, which at the moment has 57 million active users. Fully diluted value is $107 million. The token trading volume in the past 30 days was $284 billion. And the key drivers of Solana, of course, are NFTs, meme coins, really strong community, and also accessibility with different wallets, decentralized apps. And we also have in this article some of the challenges of the blockchain. So Solana has the main challenges, which are outages, which happens, of course, and also, of course, the competition and the degree of centralization. At number two, we have Near Protocol with 51.2 million users. And actually, you can see this is pretty close to Solana, which surprised me when I was doing this video. Next up, FDV is 3.1 million. This is a big step down from Solana. The token trading volume in the past 30 days is $7.8 million. And the key drivers are AI integration for user-owned agents and interns, low transaction fees with a carbon neutrality, partnerships with projects like EGEN Layer, and ecosystem expansion in DeFi and gaming, which are really big factors right now in the market. And again, we have the challenges. Near is a bit slower, and they have pretty high price volatility despite user growth. Again, the numbers are really impressive for the users, but not as impressive for the value. Next up, at number three, we have BNB Chain, which is a Binance chain, which is, again, a big deal. They have 46 million users. Uh, FDV stands at 121 billion, which is actually higher than Solana, but also Binance holds a big supply. Next up, token trading volume in the past 30 days is 56 billion. And we have the key drivers for the growth and popularity. So first of all, they reduced block time to 0.75 seconds and they added AI integration for data ownership. And we also have some of the challenges, which are pretty similar to projects we talked in the past. So first of all, they have centralization concerns due to backing of Binance because Binance holds a big part of these tokens. And again, it makes this project kind of dependent on the Binance. And before we continue, I want to share the sponsor of today's video, United Network. For a while, I have been trying to find the perfect way to secure my crypto assets. I've messed with all kinds of complicated cold wallets and hardware devices. And frankly, it's all has been a headache. It feels like you need to be a tech genius to use them. But I think I finally find a solution that makes self-custody simple. And this is United Network card. Now, this isn't your average bank card. You can pay for your coffee or use it to get cash from ATMs. This is a multi-chain, non-custodial NFC hardware wallet in the form of a card. Now, let me show you how easy it is to set up. First, you don't need to have any apps installed. You just tap the card to your phone and with few clicks, you have your account ready. And of course, if you want, they have iOS and also Android apps available. This card is built for enhanced daily crypto usage. With a single taps, you can log into your account, send crypto, receive crypto, and my favorite, perform a cross-chain swaps right in the app. This means your seed phrase, wallet addresses, and transactions are completely protected, making it a safe and easy way to travel with. You can just pop your card in the wallet, purse, or even your jeans pockets. It's designed to make securing your crypto as easy and intuitive as simple tap. Think about this. All you have to do to access your crypto is tap the card to your phone. The communication happens directly between the card and the app with no backend or databases and absolutely no data collection. You can even access their web application without installing anything. The United Network card is all about multi-chain support. You are not limited to just one or two networks. You can connect to all the major ones, including Bitcoin, Ethereum, BNB chain, Tron, 
Ton, Arbitrum, Avalanche, Base, Venom, and many more chains are coming soon. And now let me give you a real-world example of how it actually works. For example, you could have USDC on Ethereum network, and with just one transaction and one card tap, you can swap it for meme coin on Solana network. It's that simple and intuitive. And you can also connect it to all your favorite decentralized apps using Wallet Connect. So, if you're tired of complexity and security risks of managing your crypto, the United Network card is the solution. It brings the safety of hardware wallet and the simplicity of non-custodial app into one single card. So check out the link in the description to find more information about United Network and to get your own card. So now let's get back to our video. At number four, we have Base from Coinbase and we have 21 million active users, 2.9 billion FDV. And actually, if we compare it to the top three, base is a bit newer blockchain. The key drivers are ultra low fees, which are $0.01 in average. And we have, again, pretty similar challenges. We have congestion because they have high activity and dependence on Ethereum for security and regulatory compliance as a newer ecosystem. As I mentioned, they are newer, but the numbers are still really impressive. After that, we have number five with Tron. We have 14 million active users. We have FDV at 35.5 billion. Token trading volume in the past 30 days is 51 billion. And the key drivers are really cheap transaction fees. Lots of everyday crypto users use Tron to actually do daily transactions because it's cheaper and also it's a bit older. So more people are familiar with this chain. And also they have pretty big partnerships with the projects like Rumble Cloud. And the challenges are pretty serious. I think the main one is their founder, Justin Sun. And also they have regulatory scrutiny and again, centralization risk. After that, we have number six, Bitcoin. And this one actually kind of surprised me. They have 10 million active addresses. FDV, of course, is really big. 2.3 trillion. Token trading volume in the past 30 days is 1.3 trillion. And the key drivers, of course, are ETFs, professional investors, long-term holders. And the challenges are high energy consumption, also pretty high transaction fees. So it's mostly used as an investment tool, not as a day-to-day -day transactions. Next up, we have at number seven, up us which has 10 million active users, FDV at 5.3 billion, token trading volume in the past 30 days is 13 billion, and the key drivers are speak almost 20,000 transactions per second, move language for security contracts, and partnerships with projects like Tether, and the main challenge is that they need to broader the adoption and competition from established layer ones. And at number eight, we have Ethereum. I was actually thinking Ethereum is a bit higher because they have so many decentralized apps, they have games, and they have been for a long time. So right now they have only, in my opinion, only 9.6 million users. MDV is $522 billion. Token trading volume in the past 30 days is $1.1 trillion, which is pretty high if we compare it to other chains on the list. Key drivers are ETF inflows and institutional staking. Also, they have a huge list of games, decentralized apps, NFTs. So lots of different projects built on Ethereum. And the challenges are higher fees than competitors, scalability issues, and a regulatory pressure. Next up, we have number nine, which is Polygon, they have 7.2 million active users monthly, FDV at 2.6 billion, token trading volume in the past 30 days is $4.2 billion. Key drivers are partnerships with Fortune 500 firms, which is actually a news for me. I didn't know about these partnerships and I actually have to dig deeper. And the challenges kind of repeat with all of these platforms. So first of all, regulatory scrutiny under the Mika and competition from other layer twos. And the last but not least, we have number 10, Arbitrum and they have 4 million active addresses monthly, FDV at 5.1 billion, token trading volume in the past 30 days is 14.3 billion. Key drivers for the growth are integrations of platforms like Robinhood for tokenized assets and upgrades like Stylus for lower fees. And the challenges are dependence on the Ethereum mainnet, regulatory uncertainty, and competition from optimism. So guys, what do you think about the list? And what other new blockchain can enter this list in the next few years? And guys, of course, thanks for watching, subscribe, and see you next time.